So here's our second function, and we're just going to find the domain, the horizontal asymptote, and the vertical asymptote. Not necessarily in that order, but let's just begin with the domain. So first, with this function, we're just gonna um, we're just going to factor this out, uh, separate it. So x squared. Let's see, this is going to be like this. I'm just gonna. Or it's going to write on the bottom. So x squared minus x minus 2 is going to be factored this way. x here and x here. Uh, what two numbers multiply to negative 2? And if you add them, they will give you negative 1. It's going to be negative 2 and plus 1. So we have negative x minus 2, and then x plus 1 over x minus 2. Now, we want to find the domain. Here in this case, the domain is going to be, we set the bottom equal to 0, x minus 2 is equal to 0, plus 2, plus 2, x is equal to 2. So the domain is all, make sure you guys are seeing this, all real numbers except x is equal to 2. So we can't have x is equal to 2. All right? So we're gonna, now we're going to find the vertical asymptotes, or asymptote. Okay, um, let's see. There's on, on the top x minus 2 and the bottom x minus 2. We're going to cross these out. That means we're going to have a hole, or an open circle. So when, let's say you're graphing it, you're going to have an open circle there. Open circle there. So that's like the, the point of discontinuity. That means we have no vertical asymptotes, asymptotes, none. We're going to put none. And the point of discontinuity is at x is equal to 2. And if you want to find where exactly is that, that point, you get to your simplified version. Now that we cross this out, we go to our simplified version. Our simplified version is now y is equal to x, minus, x plus 1, since this wasn't crossed out. And <laughs> we're just going to plug in x is equal to 2, which this is our point of discontinuity. And we're going to plug it in our simplified version, which is x plus 1. So we're going to put 2 into this. So it goes in right there. And that's going to be y is equal to 2 plus 1. And then 3, y is equal to 3. That means if you graph it, it's going to be 2 comma 3. x, y, x, y. That, that's going to be the exact point where your point of discontinuity or the circle, the open circle, or you can call it whole, that's where it's going to be. Now we can erase all of this. And now that we found our point of discontinuity slash domain slash vertical asymptote, in this case we had no, we're going to be working on the horizontal asymptote. H A, horizontal asymptote, vertical asymptote. Now the vertical uh, horizontal asymptote, um, we're going to find the greatest exponent here, which is x squared, x squared over the greatest exponent here, x. Okay. Now, the exponent on the top is greater than the exponent on the bottom. That means there is no horizontal asymptote. If, the, if, the, if it was like this, the, bo the bottom is greater than the top, then it's going to be y is equal to 0. Or if they're equal, we have x squared, x squared. That means you just divide the coefficients. If it was just like this, 1 over 1, then your horizontal asymptote is just going to be y is equal to 1, which is a coefficient divided by the coefficient. In this case, we had the x squared on the top, and that means the sixth one was greater than the one on the bottom. That means there is no horizontal asymptote. There is no uh, vertical asymptote. Now, if you want to graph it, let's work on graphing this. Okay. Uh, here's my coordinate plane, my axes. And let's say we want to uh, find the x-intercepts. In this case, if you want to find the x-intercepts, uh, for the x-intercepts, you plug it, you make the top equal to 0. And to find the y-intercepts, you make the bottom, um, you, put, you put 0 for every x. Now the top, let's, let me just erase this. I want to find the x-intercept. Um, if you want to... You said you set it equal to zero. Or let's just get the simplified version. So zero. And we make 
you said x minus 2 and x plus 1, set the whole thing equal to 0. Um, x minus 2. And then here we have x plus 1 is equal to 0, equal to 0. x is equal to 2, x is equal to negative 1. Those are our two points. Now if we want to graph it, we have 1, 2, plot it there, and 1, plot it there. Those are our two intercepts. Now we can make a table. Let me erase this. Make a table, x and y. If x is a 1, then y is 1 squared is 1 minus 1, 0, negative 2 on the top over 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. That will be 2. If x is 1, then y has to be 2. This is y is. Yeah, something like that. But then the vertical asymptote, we have none. Horizontal asymptote, we have none. And sort of that's the basic notion of finding this whole thing.